Hello everyone, I'm Abbasud and welcome to my course on NIST 882 which is corresponding to IC security that is industrial uh, control system security. In today's session we will be discussing about SCADA system. So if we as we have looked into for the IAC, there are majorly three types of system that is SCADA system, DCS system and PLC system. So we'll be seeing a bit detail about this system. So in today's session, we will be covering SCADA system. SCADA system is basically stands for supervisory control and uh, data acquisition. So SCADA systems are used to control disaster where centralized data acquisition is as important as control these systems are used in distributed systems such as uh, water distribution uh, wastewater collection system oil and gas pipeline electric uh, utility transmission and distribution system and uh, rain and other public transportation systems scada system integrate data acquisition system with data transmi transmission systems and hmi software to provide a centralized monitoring and control system for numerous process inputs and outputs scada systems are designed to collect field information transport it, uh, it to a central computer facility and display the information to the operator geographically or textually thereby allowing the operator to monitor or control an entire system from a central location in a in near real time based on the sophistication and setup of the individual system control of any individual operator or task can be automatic or it can be performed by operating uh, operator commands so if we look into typical hardware which includes into the scada system as shown into the fi the figure is uh, control center uh, control center communication requirement and the field side control uh, center consists of control server placed at the at control center communication requirement uh, communication requirement can be communication equipment that is radio telephonic cable cab telephonic lines cable or satellite and one or more geographically distributed field site considered and uh, consisting of uh, that is RTUs, that is remote terminal units and PLCs, that is programmable logical centers, which uh, controls actuators on monitor sensor. A control server stores and processes the information from RTO input and output, while the RTO or PLC controls the local process. The communication hardware allow the transfer of information and data back and forth between control server and the IT or PLCs. The software is programmed to tell the system what and when to monitor, what parameter ranges are acceptable and what response to initiate when parameter change outside the acceptable value. Then if we look into I, uh, IED that is an intelligent electronic device that can be uh, protective relay may communicate directly to the control server or local RTU may pull the IEDs to collect the data and pass it to the control server. IDEs provide a direct interface to control and monitor equipment and sensor. IDEs may be directly pulled a control by control server and in most cases have logical programming that allows for IDE to act without direct in city, uh, instructions from the control center. SCADA system are usually designed to be the fault tolerant system which significant redundancy built into the system. Redundancy may not be Mm, sufficient countermeasure in face uh, in face of malicious attack the control center houses uh, a control server and the communication routers other con uh, other control center components including uh, that is called hmi engineering workstation uh, data historians 
which are all connected by a LAN. The control center collects and log information gathered by the field sites, display information to the HMI and may generate actions based upon detected events. The control center is also responsible for centralized alarming trend analysis and reporting. The field size, uh, site performs local control of actuator and monitor sensor. Field sites are often equipped with remote access capabilities to allow operator to perform remote diagnostic and repair uh, usually over a separate dial-up modem or van connection standard and proprietary communication protocols run over series and network communication are used to transport information between control center and the field size using a telemetric technology such as telephone lines cables fibers and radio frequency which can be a broadcast microwave microwaves and satellites so now let's look into the scada communication topologies which may vary among implementations the various topology used including point to point series series star and multiple drops so point to point is for is functionally this uh, the simplest type however it is expensive because the individual channel need for uh, needed for each connection the second is series configuration number of channel used is reduced however the channel sharing has an impact on the efficiency and complexity of the SCADA operations now similarly the series uh, the series star and multi drop um, configuration use of one channel per device results in decreased efficiency and increase system uh, increase system complexity this particular SCADA system consists of primary control center and three field sites the second backup control center provides redundancy in the event of primary control center malfunctioning point to point connections are used for all the control centers to the field site communication with two connection using radio telemetry the third field site is local to control center and use the van for communication a regional control center resides above the primary control center of a higher level of supervisory control the corporate network has access to all the control centers using the van and field sites can be assessed remotely or troubleshooting and maintaining operations so now look into one example which is uh, corresponding to railway monitoring and controlling uh, railway monitoring and controlling system so this example in, uh, includes a railway control center house the scada system and three uh, sections of control uh, three cent, uh, sections of railway system the scada system poles the rail section for information such as status of the train signal system track uh, traction rectification system and ticket vending machine this information is also fed to operate operator console at uh, at the hmi station within the rain control station the scada system also monitors operator input at a rail control center and disperse high level operator commands to the rail section component in addition the scala system monitors condition at an individual rail section and issue comma um, monitor and an issue a monitor at, uh, at the end in the, this center and issue commands based on these condition like stopping a train to prevent it from entering an area that has been determined to be flooded or occupied by any other train based on the conditional monitoring so this is what we are having corresponding to the SCADA thank you for joining